morning guys i'm on my cell phone because of course i forgot my freaking camera this morning i don't know how i did that because i do have some errands to run right now i'm sitting in front of my hairdresser's house so she can clip my ends because yesterday oh my gosh i looked at the front of my hair and girlfriend it was some split ends they wasn't high up which is like thank god so it's like i'm catching them now but it was a lot a lot of split ends that were like little baby ones and i'm, I'm guessing that's because I always say I don't put oil on my hair, but that's that's probably why they're splitting like that. So I'm gonna have to find a, a new regimen or something because I'm not trying to have all this growth for nothing. Um, so I'm at her house because I guess because Rona, she's not in a um, in a establishment right now. But um, I really really like her. I don't feel like I ever want to leave her. <laughs> um, she's never styled my hair. She's only um, clipped my ends, and I just trust her because she's not scissor happy. She does exactly what she needs to do. You know what I mean? so after this i i already um packaged up orders so after this i'm gonna go ahead and go to the post office um thank god right i feel really blessed that i keep having to go back to the post office i feel really blessed about that um so i'm gonna ask her if i can film in there just a little bit we'll see if she's not comfortable that's fine it just is what it is but um yeah my hair is just up in a bow right now look at that no sound is going to be in there. <laughs> I'm going to just have a little bit. I'm pulling it back. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, I feel like longer on the front. Mm -hmm. You want to keep the length on the front. Yeah, I was trying to get the front, you know, to meet the back as far as length. Your front seems to be longer. Yeah, it's trying to do something. <laughs> yeah, it's actually longer on the front. So, and when you keep it, when you keep it full to the back, it takes that to the length of the back. So, of course, it's going to be longer on the front. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't at first. And then that's why I did the bob style. So, I could just kind of let it, like, keep cutting it and just let the front keep trying to grow. Really? Yeah, because the back grows so fast. Oh, you're, you're like mine. Yeah. That's how mine does. Okay, now I'm looking wild. <laughs> but she cut it, and I'm so happy. I feel so good. You know, it's that it's an extra special feeling. When you get your ends clipped, you just feel like you've just done something so good for yourself. So I'm about to throw this in a bow and then um, head to the post office. And I'm going to start oiling my hair and taking better care of it. So here we go. <laughs> okay. So just got back from my girl from doing my hair and I did my... um. My packages, I dropped them off. So right now, I'm done with wearing my hair straight. That looks good. I'm done with wearing my hair straight for now. Um, so I'm just gonna oil my hair and then later on I'll do a video, a hair video, doing something with my hair that's gonna hopefully last me two weeks. So this was sent to me in the mail. Um, a small business, they're called Just by Orea. And it's just an oil. Baby, that's too loud. Let me, let me turn it down. And it's just an oil mixed of a lot of different oils. Here you go. You can take a seat, okay? Let me see. Okay. It has watermelon seed oil, boabab seed oil, argan oil, macadamia nut oil, castor oil, rice bran oil, sunflower oil, apricot kernel oil, rosemary essential oil i love that tea tree essential oil love that and peppermint essential oil apply as many drops into the palm as needed for your hair on a dry or for blah, 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 on dry or wet hair massage product into scalp and leave it on for 20 minutes rinse off with shampoo hmm? okay i'm not rinsing it off i'm, I'm gonna keep this in <laughs> keep this in so my stylist told me that my scalp needed some help too. And I'm pretty sure that's because, well, 
Wow, the thing just came off. I never um, oiled my scalp because I just saw that as like, you know, a thing of the past. Not really a thing of the past. It's just that I was just feeling like, I just never felt like my hair liked oils for real. It gets crunchy and stuff. So we'll see how it does with this oil. And I'll just put a little bit on my fingers and just massage it through. We're gonna concentrate it on the ends. Smells crazy good. I'm not a product junkie, but I'm a product whore. So when I get a product, it's like I put it in my hair like heavy. We're back in business, and now I'm gonna go make lunch. They want hamburgers, so see, I'm not going out. Oh, that's a foot. This is this is a foot. Whose foot is this? Mine. Mine summer. Ooh. All right, let me go make we go make a lunch. Dead, baby. My iPad's dead too. <laughs> Everything. Sleeping in this house. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna cornrow my hair really quick into three pretty large cornrows, and I'm gonna think about what I want to do to my hair because I was gonna do a hair video today, but the sun is about to go down. And I still don't really know what I want to do to it.
Oh, did you put the, the dragon fruit in it? Uh -huh. Okay, taste it. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Um, I'm about to go for a walk. That's why I look like this. Okay, you know, all right? Oh, thank you. Okay. No one decided to get fancy and put some dragon fruit in his lemonade. And they were taking video of me in my underpants. <laughs> but they can't see your underpants. Oh, they can't. They need some chapstick. Please go put some chapstick on. Mm, that boy trying to get it done. Already. Already. I feel like you don't think we needed the two gallons? Uh no, I don't think so. So we took we had columns right here. We took those down and that's the patches that you see right there. We wanted to open that open it up because he's gonna build barn doors. <laughs> And we're gonna have them sliding right there. And this is gonna be the baby's little situation. Um, just to have the baby close to us. And then, once, you know, the baby gets a little bit older, once we prepare the other bedroom bedroom, this is just gonna be his area pretty much. Like the manly, manly area. That's why we got the black. But honestly, I've just been feeling darker colors for the house lately instead of the like well i never liked this color the blue but instead of like whites and stuff 
I'm just gravitating more toward the dark. quite a few days i've just been tired we've been just doing a lot of stuff around the house but um right now this morning i'm just doing some content trying to shoot some content with this pregnant belly it's difficult for um friday studio i'm gonna do some new arrivals really really soon so i want to just put everything out there i did some pictures yesterday that turned out really good and then the second half just didn't because i ran out of morning daylight and so i'm trying to just hurry up and do it right now but these are some of the clothes right over there this one right here i have to say it's probably one of my favorites because the quality is crazy and this one too it's like sexy but like i don't know it's just giving me everything that i need but the quality on this right here is oh my gosh it's like it's kind of heavy on you it's just that perfect fall winter just vibe so i mean everything really is but those are my two favorites and um we've got lots of basics we're doing our thing and also i have to um do screen printing sorry not screen printing um the outside cutting the grass and um blowing the leaves away so that's loud I have to um what's it called heat press some lettering on the sweatsuit set it's the top and bottom and i want to you know do that that's going to be cute kind of personalize it and hopefully i can shoot a video today about um can you see that okay i shoot a video about how to find vendors how i find my vendors um and how i got started and stuff like that for friday studio so yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and start taking these pictures. Please, Jesus, please let them turn out good. Content creator working all by herself. Nobody to take pictures for her. Please let it work. All right. just got back um actually we didn't just get back but i decided to get a few things done before i hopped back on here and started vlogging um i emailed a bunch of brands back with some info actually and i just thought about another brand that i did not hit back so i gotta hit them back <laughs> um and just give them some info so we can start off some of these um collaborations because if you notice I haven't done that in a long time I haven't said this video is sponsored by in a long time because I just feel like I don't want to do that anymore I don't want to do that anymore unless it's a brand that I really 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 f with and um yeah I just want to just minimize that I like I feel like years ago I was just like oh you offer me some money, I need some money, let's do this. Now I'm like, ugh, I'm picky. I just wanna work with people that I truly, truly, truly believe in. And I would end up liking those products and then sometimes I wouldn't. So it's just like, I'm different now, like, I'm different. So I'm about to take these freaking pills. Can you see them? It's four of them. 
So I'm gonna take the nasty ones first, the fish pills first. This, first of all, this juice is, this juice is so good. This apple cider with like cinnamon, oh my God. Prenatal pills. Oh my gosh, I'm so good at this now. There was a time in my adulthood where I could not, I was just not good at taking pills. So we did end up going to Starbucks and I felt kind of cute. And I had my camera with me, so I had Jarrell take a couple pictures for me and I'll show you how those turned out. Um, we only got like two good ones, or maybe like three, like three good ones, but that's perfect because that's all I need. So I'm gonna probably post those tomorrow. So that works. And I came up with what I want to be on the sweatsuits that are right there. So I'm gonna print that out on the Cricut machine. Um, I'll show you what that all looks like. And then I'm going to go ahead and press it onto the, um, the product. Yeah, just, just give me a minute. I'll do it in just a minute as soon as I cut this out. Okay, I don't want to trust on you. <laughs> Whatever, boy. So, right now, I'm talking to the camera. <laughs> so, right now, it's looking like, I don't know. I just feel like this might be, let's see, the letters just come right off. They come right through once you peel. And sometimes lettering can be like too skinny. So it'll make it difficult for you. Mess that. So I have to choose a different font. I have to choose a different font. And this is way too wide. Okay, back to the drawing board. <laughs> 